All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole number one here of the Pro Gridiron Tournament. And I'm just going to kind of jump in here, start doing some shots. You'll see that I'm going to just try to use sniper and quarterback for this. We're not going to do anything fancy. Um, I, I don't see any reason uh, where you would need to really do too much on this hole, especially for the pro division. Uh, it, it's going to be more important that you put it in the fairway, give yourself a nice, reasonable chance uh, to be able to consistently get this one by being in the fairway um, and, you know, el eliminate yourself from making any mistakes or, you know, clipping the rough. Uh, it would be nice to get up to... Um, you know, and you and you can do this shot uh, with the extra mile if you get kind of aggressive towards the left hand side with a little bit of power. But this this can also you know be a, a little bit riskier, um, and that's one of the the biggest reasons that uh, we're just going to kind of stay away from this. So here you can see my opponent actually does uh, clip clip it in the rough, and uh, you know it. It really is going to kind of test your uh, ability when you make a mistake like that. So you'll see that uh, what I do is essentially just play it here, kind of towards one per ring. So about six rings here. And we just put it out in play. You'll see that I'm using a Titan Ball. You might not need one. Uh, you could probably get away with a little bit less. Um, but I do like to have just a little bit more range on that second shot. And you can see as long as you keep it short of that rough and don't do anything extra than what I just did there, um, you know, you'll, you'll keep yourself in perfect position. However, we did get a little bit of extra length um, to where even if I did roll into that rough, you know, we could still with a tailwind uh, managed to get ourselves up there towards the green <clears throat> with that extra distance. So let's take a look here at the shot. As I'm assuming we're going to be a little bit more towards min club. So 105 here. So we probably are going to be pulling down very close to min. So that's what you'll see that I use. Very, very close to min adjustment number. Maybe six point eight rings or so. You'll see that I try to set my ball guide offset somewhere maybe right around here. And short of the hole, six point eight rings. So let's see here. That ah, looks like it's coming in just a little bit wide. And sure enough, just a little bit too much on the overcorrection. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, you know, I guess I'll let this uh, guy practice. You know, I, I don't know if he's going to try to qualify here or not. You know, I could just as easily just give him this. Um, but... Uh, uh, because I am going to forfeit out. But I have no idea what his intentions for the day are. Um, and of course, you know, on a par 5 like this, it's 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 not a big deal if, you know, obviously, you know, after a couple times of practicing, you're, you're not going to be, you know, driving it aggressive and launching it into the rough on the, the bounce. So, you know, I would expect him to, to be able to get that eagle tomorrow easily, so... But, um, you know, good luck with that first hole. You can see, you know, it's all going to be about wind effect and just, you know, being able to predict that ball guide just a little bit. And, uh, you know, the better you do that, the, the greater the chance that you're going to give yourself to, to get that albatross there. So you can see it's very, very straightforward and going to be something you can very easily take advantage of. So good luck, and I'll see you guys on two coming up.